Hey, how's it going guys? Shitter here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to forcefully disable FreeSync. So if you have this problem where you, you're trying to mess with your overdrive settings on your monitor or something along those lines, but for whatever reason it keeps showing your monitor is in the mode of FreeSync, and for whatever reason it just won't turn off no matter what, what you do, then this is the tutorial for you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the problem that I was running into because I, I had problems. It took me an entire day to figure out how to do this, but FreeSync is off. All right, I'm running HDMI at 240 hertz, and I couldn't change my overdrive settings because in the information tab on the, the overlay for the monitor, it kept saying that the mode of operation was in FreeSync, and I couldn't figure this out until I stumbled upon a... A thread on AMD's forums all right this this has probably been about six or seven hours into trying to figure out why I cannot change my overdrive because the ghosting on the Acer XF 250Q is absolutely disgusting it is horrible I, I do not wish that upon anybody in terms of that so I'm gonna go to drop a link down below in the description and what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to follow this link there's gonna be two different download folders up here you have both zips I chose the left one which I will go ahead and reinstall so once you have it downloaded you're gonna to want to open it up you're going to want to take it to a folder it's like let's say we'll just create a new folder So once you have CRU extracted, you're going to want to open up CRU. The file name CRU, you're going to want to open that one up. Once you open it, you're going to come to a screen like this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to the extension blocks. You'll see two slots left. You're going to want to open up. You're going to want to double click on this one. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see a free sync range. Now, the FreeSync range is how FreeSync operates. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open it. Now, most monitors are gonna have a range from 48 to say 165 or something. Mine had a range of 48 to 240. So what I did was I took the second one and I went ahead and I put it to one number above 48. So now FreeSync does not come on unless I'm basically at these. I I I don't I don't know the story, but basically, once you do this, so you click OK, 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 which I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want to do this all again. You're gonna want to double click Restart 64. Now your screen will go black. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna do it because it will screw the recording up and corrupt it. But when you do this, give it about a minute or two, your screen will come back on. And then when you go into your OSD, it will no longer say that you are in free sync mode. This was honestly the most relief that I've ever felt because spending $280 on a monitor just to learn that it's stuck in free sync mode because of an AMD GPU with their drivers being really broken at this point was honestly the most frustrating thing ever because whenever i played games like apex legends or stuff like that ghosting was a very very big problem when i was playing apex legends and honestly it, it was a very big deal breaker for me but we, i finally figured it out there's the tutorial i'll go ahead and drop the link and everything for this down below because i know people have had this problem it's it's an ongoing problem with amd drivers if you and there you guys have it. It will be down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.